Less than a week away from the start of the college football season, a surprising development today in Illinois as Finley grad and former Ohio State assistant Tim Beckman has been fired as the Fighting Illini's head coach. While the program has struggled on the field under Beckman, just 12 and 25 overall and 4 and 20 in the Big Ten in his three seasons. After allegations of mistreating players, an external review found Beckman tried to influence medical decisions and pressure players to postpone or avoid medical treatment. Offensive coordinator Bill Cubitt will be the interim head coach this season. Well, Ohio State travels to Champaign November the 14th. Mark has more on the Buckeyes' defense tonight. Among the surprising developments of last year's Buckeye playoff run, the reemergence of a dominant defense. And this year's Ohio State team, with plenty of strength at linebacker and in the secondary, is determined to keep that silver bullet swag. Oh man, the defense been shutting it down. I don't know. Look, I don't know what y'all heard. <laughs> I don't know what y'all heard. But we went against the offense on Saturday. We was one of them. We whooped them. So you know, you know, defense starting to click on all cylinders. You know, everybody finding that chemistry that we left off with last year. And we just just trying to build on that going towards Virginia Tech game. Uh, it, you know, I get asked all the time you know, what the challenges are for this year and the challenges, like we've already talked about, how do we start the season where we left off? We were playing at a very high level last January and we can't take uh, three or four weeks in the season to get, get going again. We've got to start off really good, uh, obviously playing a team like Virginia Tech on the road. Uh, but you can see the confidence of these players is uh, really high right now. Compared to last year at this time, uh, we play a lot faster, we play a lot more confident, we, use, we play with good fundamentals, we tackle well, we communicate well. It's just a completely different defense right now in training camp than it was a year ago at this time. It's about coming out here every day and getting better. You can't live off the things that happened in the past. That's behind the 2014 happened. It was a great year, but now we all focus on 2015 and getting better and making sure we execute when it comes game day. And with All-American defensive end Joey Bosa suspended for the Virginia Tech game, underclassmen like Jalen Holmes and Sam Hubbard will get a chance to show what they can do early on. Yeah, speed, quickness off the ball, and uh, you know intensity, and just being relentless to to get to the quarterback and uh, never giving up on a play. I think that's what I bring to the table. We just all feel like we got pressure from ourselves to you know elevate our game to be the better player than we was last year, and we lost great players like Steve Miller. He was a he was a great leader. Well, you know, every year that is our goal because you know when everybody comes to the game, it's always about the offense. Oh, the offense is going to score all these points. They got the Braxtons, the JT Cardell, and Zeke. Nobody really says too much about the defense other than Joey Bosa. So you know, due to the fact that we do that, we know that it's just coming out here and just basically want to make everybody lead the game and say, you know, those silver bullets are back this year. In Columbus, Mark Kuntz, Sports Report. Of course, more from Ohio State available online on the Buckeye Insider playlist on the YouTube channel. As Buckeye Insider back for another year of covering Ohio State football, join Mark and Mike Miller this season. And of course, Tuesday nights, they will start this week with on WTLW. It's a 10 as they get you ready for the season opener at Virginia Tech. That's Tuesday on WTLW. Buckeye Beat then reports every night on the Sports Report. And on Sunday mornings on the West Ohio Sports Network, a full recap, post-game reaction, plenty of analysis, and don't forget on Mondays at 9, you can see the Coach Urban Meyer weekly press conference. It's all on WOSN.